President Biden angry and defiant. My memory is fine. In a hastily called evening news conference, the president responding directly to special counsel Robert Hur's report on his handling of classified documents. What's the problem is? On the document! That included a blistering assessment of the 81-year-old's age and what the report called his diminished faculties in advancing age. The president slamming Hur's assessment that he did not remember when his son Bo died. How in the hell dare he raise that? I don't need anyone. I don't need anyone to remind me when he passed away. The remarks coming hours after the special counsel said our investigation uncovered evidence that President Biden willfully retained and disclosed classified materials after his vice presidency, but said no criminal charges are warranted in this matter, adding that a jury would likely see the president as a sympathetic, well-meaning and elderly man with a poor memory. I'm well-meaning, and I'm an elderly man, and I know what the hell I'm doing. Moments later, the president confusing Mexico and As Egypt you know, when talking about the crisis in Gaza. The president of Mexico, Sisi, did not want to open up the gate to allow humanitarian material to get in. The special counsel said Mr. Biden kept documents about Afghanistan marked classified and notebooks with handwritten entries implicating intelligence sources and methods. This, these assertions are not only misleading, they're just plain wrong. Prosecutors say these photos show classified documents improperly stored in a badly damaged box near a collapsed dog crate in the president's Delaware garage. A separate special counsel is investigating former President Trump's alleged mishandling of classified information found at his Mar-a-Lago estate. Mr. Trump, who has pleaded not guilty to 40 federal criminal counts, blasting the lack of charges against President Biden, calling it a two-tiered system of justice. But the Her report says there are clear differences, saying Mr. Biden alerted authorities about the documents and cooperated with the investigation, while Mr. Trump allegedly did the opposite, enlisting others to destroy evidence and then to lie about it.